Now it's your turn. We've got to dig in and go viral. Take this video, email it to your friends. You can also download this video. Just make sure to copy the links in the description and make sure to copy the tags as well. As long as people use this video for the right reasons, I have no problem with them putting it on their YouTube page. I will provide a link to keepvid.com below in the description. You just simply take the URL of this video, paste it into Keepvid, and it will give you a download link. Without the intervention of strong moral souls, the world will slide into ever-increasing state tyrannies. That is the role and the rule of history. History comes down to the decisions and the resolution of particular individuals. There is no such thing as a historical movement, historical patterns, greater historical forces. No. It comes down to how deep you are willing to plant the cleats of your integrity and resolution and stand before the storms of social disapproval and attack and condemnation and resistance and skepticism and scorn and contempt and mockery if you are willing to stand in the face of those storms until the world begins to rotate around the deep truths of your own propositions then the world can be saved and in the absence of that you will simply be blown into totalitarianism along with everyone else and I know that people don't want to hear the truth people in your life people in my life they don't want to hear the truth it's going to be, future's going to be pretty much like the past. Historic, historically, this is not true. Historically, this is not true. The French Revolution was not like what came before. It was a blood-soaked, murderous mob of immense and endless psychopathy. The growing liberalization, end of serfdom, the growing liberalization of Russia, the early part of the 20th century, did not slowly progress, rolling gently like a blown dandelion up the sunlit hills. Various kinds of cells which make up the parts of the body differ in their vulnerability to radiation. Most sensitive are lymph cells, such as those found in the tonsil. Next is bone marrow, which manufactures red and white blood cells. Then the sex cells followed by tendons and cartilage as in the nose, muscles and nerves, the toughest of all. In general, cells which reproduce rapidly and whose efficient functioning depends on that ability are most effective. Radiation halts the reproduction, which is a simple process of one cell dividing into two. The manifestations of radiation in the body are many. It range from slight to severe. Loss of hair, nausea, bleeding, inability of the body to resist other ailments and make its own repair. These are some of them, and they may be climaxed by the ultimate symptom, death itself. 